is paying cash for things, the end all be all. Whether it's a liability like a vehicle or an asset like some sort of investment is using your own cash to purchase something or invest in something always the best case scenario. I'm gonna make the argument and also make the claim that in most circumstances, if not all, that is actually the worst financial decision you could make for that purchase or investment. Consuming your own cash, which essentially means at one point in time, you have possession and ownership of that cash and you give it to somebody else. You trade that cash for some sort of product, liability, or investment. I don't care what it is. If it's a car, an investment, something that's going to make you money, uh, it doesn't really matter for the sake of this conversation. What I'm going to propose to you is this. You would actually be much better off if you took a $40,000 loan rather than consuming your cash. Now, the caveat to that is this. If you put your $40,000 into an account that's going to earn 5% guaranteed every single year, I'll make the argument that you will make way more money doing it that way and then getting a loan from someone else using their $40,000 and paying them 6%. The loan details would be $40,000 for your initial loan balance with a 6% interest rate. Having that loan be a 62-month loan with a minimum required payment of $662.92 every single month. When you calculate the interest that you would be paying over the term of the loan, if you made that minimum payment only, the total interest paid would be $7,729.92, which that equates to 19.3% of the total initial loan balance. That is what you'd be paying in interest to the lender. And I'm going to make the argument that that will actually benefit you far greater than paying cash for the car or investment, whatever it may be. So here we are. This chart is very simple. Your column is year. So we have year one through 25. We have a total investment of $40,000. In this situation, we are not contributing to this account at all over the years. It's just a $40,000 contribution, letting it ride. And this account is going to earn 5% guaranteed every single year. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And there will also be no taxation on anything with this account, whether it's your money that you're putting in or the interest that is being accumulated over the years. So what you'll see is in, at the end of year one, the end balance would be 42,000 because 5% of 40,000 is 2,000. And then following in year two, you would then be earning 5% off of not 40,000, but 42,000, so on and so forth. So you get to year five, your Account balance at the beginning of year five is $48,620.25. You are now earning 5% off of that amount compared to $40,000 in the first year. So basically what's going on here is you have compound interest. You have no interruptions with this. You are earning 5% every single year. At the end of 25 years, your $40,000 has turned into $135,454.20. And on that last year, your interest earned is $6,450. So what I want you to notice about this account is how much total interest you have earned over a six-year time frame. So when comparing this account, and also keeping in mind that we would be using a loan against this account, 
and we've already covered those loan terms and the total interest paid of that loan over a six year time frame being $7,700, okay? If you look at this account, after six years, the amount of interest that you've earned is $13,603. That is a greater number than the interest that you would be charged to use $40,000 of someone else's money. So tell me this, in six years time, would you be better off by paying $40,000 of your own cash and having nothing or borrowing somebody else's $40,000, paying them $7,700 and ending up with $13,603 after six years. Again, in this account, we're only doing a one-time contribution of $40,000. Where this gets very interesting is what if you added money to this account every year or sporadically over the years or months, what would that look like? Obviously, the interest earned would be greater. I would make the claim to you that this is a much more efficient way to use your money and to put your money to work so that your money is making money. Never pay cash for things unless it's somebody else's cash. Here's another question for you. What if this loan that you took, what if you didn't have to make a monthly payment every month? Hmm. What if there was no specific terms on when you had to pay that loan back and you could control that? What if anytime you made a payment to this loan, that money was in your possession again to use again? Hmm. And also, what if you threw additional money at that loan? What would that do to your total interest paid? Would that reduce it? Yes, it would. So by taking this $40,000 loan against your asset, your $40,000 is still in the account earning interest every single year, regardless on if you have a loan against it or not. And anytime you make a loan payment, whatever it may be, that money replenishes your available funds in this account. So view this account as a line of credit because that's exactly how it works. It's a liquid account that you can recycle money. You can put money in, you can borrow against it, you can pay it back as you see fit. And whenever you do make a payment, that money is in your account and is available to use again.